Are you a building manager, property manager, or facility manager dealing with ongoing and persistent false alarm problems in your building? We know that your time is valuable and that you rely on service providers like Firewise to ensure your building is safe from fire. For that reason, let's dive into some common causes of false alarms and how you can address them. Hi, my name is Russ Porteous and I'm the CEO of Firewise. We help to design, install and maintain fire safety systems in buildings that keep people and buildings safe from fire. We also produce a range of videos like this one to help answer your burning questions about fire safety. We understand that dealing with false alarms can be a frustrating and time consuming experience and can have a negative effect on the occupants and tenants of a building. That's why we're here to help you identify the common root causes of false alarms and provide examples on how to overcome and fix them. While we've identified many more, here are five of the most common examples that can cause false alarms in your building. The first one is that over time, smoke detectors can become more sensitive to dust, steam, and airborne aerosols. Another one is that aging smoke detectors or faulty equipment that might require replacement or repair. We often see this in older buildings and as equipment gets older, it becomes less reliable. There's also environmental factors such as airborne dust and humidity. These can sometimes cause false alarms. Another cause is accidental activation of a smoke detector from a candle or cooking. They can cause false alarms and it's an unintended outcome that people weren't expecting. The last one is small leaks from badly performing sprinkler systems or jacking pumps that can lead to a drop in pressure of the sprinkler system causing a false alarm. To reduce the likelihood of false alarms, you must maintain your fire safety systems in an optimal condition. This includes ensuring that all fire systems are maintained in accordance with Australian standard AS1851. You should also replace very dirty and contaminated fire detectors or malfunctioning devices. This is not normally covered in AS1851, such as downloading the dirty detector contamination report, but it should be done by a competent and reliable fire safety technician. You should also upgrade periodically fire alarm systems with modern and advanced fire alarm and fire detection technologies with improved false alarm rejection capabilities. Typically, a fire alarm system has a lifespan of 10 to 15 years. So after that time, or in that time, you should be really considering about permanently upgrading your fire systems. You should also undertake an assessment and optimization of detector locations, taking into consideration environmental factors and building use. This is covered in the survey component of Australian Standard AS 1851, but if you're experiencing false alarms, it should be something you do on a more regular basis. At Firewise, we provide customised fire safety training and ongoing maintenance for building owners and managers. And we focus on false alarm prevention and proper systems maintenance to ensure that we can eliminate false alarms. Our ongoing maintenance solutions in accordance with AS1851 definitely help eliminate false alarms. If you're currently experiencing false alarms, connect with Firewise to help identify the root cause and find the right solution for your building. Visit our website displayed on the screen below and reserve a 15 minute discovery call and chat with one of our professional engineers to learn more. Let's make your building safer and more efficient so you can focus on what really matters.